I guess in terms of durability, the, this upper is quite okay uh, since the solid structure and uh, all overlay material, uh, maybe even too much. Wait, wait, wait a moment. I was totally wrong with my first impression of you. And I'll tell you why. Welcome back to my channel guys, I'm Sergio and you know I'm a big fan of Adidas. Most of my shoe reviews in my channel are uh, for Adidas shoes but I'm not an affiliate of Adidas uh, and uh, any other brands uh, and uh, I like to give you my humble opinion. I believe this is my work here uh, to let you know without any uh, bias or influence uh, uh, what is my opinion and my experience uh, about a particular running shoe, a particular model and uh, of any other running gear. Say that, especially in this case, I would like to say so many things, but I can't because otherwise YouTube will close my channel. Jokes aside, I have to say that this time I'm really disappointed from Adidas. Why I'm saying that? Uh, because I just reached another 50 miles, another 50 miles with my Boston 11, which is not that much, and uh, the upper uh, failed totally. The worst thing is that I discovered that uh, I'm not the only one, so it is not a defect of my pair of shoes, but it's rather a defect of uh, the Boston 11. You can see it, I mean, it's pretty a severe failure. Uh, it is not the usual uh, hole in the top box, which in any case is not good, uh, but it is a complete rip uh, on one side of the hub. Uh, in my case only one shoe. As you can see that's pretty structural and uh, also pretty dangerous. If all the hopper would fail along I would even risk to uh, twist my cup. That's really disappointing uh, especially because uh, as I said in the uh, last video review for the Boston 12 I would still prefer the Boston 11 than uh, the 12 because the hopper doesn't leave uh, that much room like in the Boston 12 uh, so it keep my foot in place better than the Boston 12 as you can see the rest of the upper uh, and the shoe looks uh, uh, pretty brand new that's really a shame I had to inform you about that uh, I don't know how this can happen I remember it happened only once in 20 years of uh, running uh, uh, it was uh, uh, the ghost uh, from Brooks I still remember the name of the model and it was around 10 years ago so i would not expect that uh, um, from today's shoes with all this technology i mean it is true we want to have uh, uh, pretty light shoes uh, lighter always lighter uh, but this is not the case with the boston 11. it looks like uh, in this area of the shoe a reinforcement is missing so this leaves me with uh, uh, a question and uh, with uh, a consideration how long these shoes uh, are tested uh, before to be delivered and um, nowadays everything has to be delivered uh, quickly everything is fast we need to deliver and deliver but at which cost quality and customer satisfaction are uh, pretty important as well right and i can tell you i didn't buy these shoes for lasting only another 50 miles that's a shame it's sad but it's the reality so just let me know if this happened also to you and what you think about that in the comment below and for now thank you for watching and uh, Let's keep the fingers crossed uh, for the next model. See you guys. Look at what's in front of me, don't focus on the other things I know that if I'm struggling, that only leads to a tough for me And I want and need something that could challenge me Build up all my calluses, push through all their callousness Becoming reckless, I'm ambitious and I'm restless, yeah Was an apprentice but possessed a different engine So I asked a lot of questions and I learned a lot of lessons